Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and today I want to chat with you guys a little bit about something that, uh, you know, is very concerning for me. I think particularly as someone who is focused on longevity in the iron game, I'm about to be 47 years old. Uh, I've been doing this a long time, uh, and I appreciate more and more the longer I do this, the, the whole concept of longevity under the barbell being able to do this for life, trying to be healthier, right? Trying to be healthier. I mean, I've even started leaning down more, focusing on those sort of things, uh, just to improve my own health. And for me, it's really scary that I see a lot of guys, and I'm seeing them on social media, who are in the pursuit of strength. And keep in mind, guys, I have pursued strength. Right? You guys have seen me deadlift 635 in my 40s. You've seen me pause for a two-second pause, 365 on the bench in my, in my late 40s. Okay, I care a lot about strength. But you're seeing guys who are bragging about their, their natural status, their natty status. They don't use anything, but then they are bulking to extremely, extremely morbidly obese body fats. And I mean, it's bad enough I'm seeing some, and I've seen some of them call me out. There are guys out here who, you know, I've seen them pop up in, in the feed, and the, they're calling me out for whatever reason. And they've got big bellies. And that's not the worst. I've seen some, and I, I, I don't want to go into specific people and really flame people at this moment. There are people who have gotten to, you know, over 300 pounds. 400 pounds fat who are pursuing strength and they're, they're doing it just to get stronger while bragging about a natural status. Okay, that's insane. But you'll see the same thing with some of these other guys and they're older lifters. Like these are guys over 40 and they've got big old bellies like they're getting fat and then they're talking about I'm doing this all natural. As if they get bonus points, it's like, um, what are you doing? What are you guys doing? The whole point of anyone being natural is my assumption is to be healthy. Right? That, that is generally why. That is why people choose to stay natural. That is the only real reason, obviously, is because you're concerned with your health. Okay? And that makes sense. You, you can't knock that. If, if a person tells me, yes, I care about strength, I care about uh, size, I care about aesthetics, whatever, okay? But I'm choosing to stay natural because I think it's better for my health. Okay? For, that's a personal choice they make. I, I, you can't knock that, right? I don't, I don't think any reasonable person can say, you know what? That's a flawed logic. No, we, we can't. That, that's, that's good logic, actually. I would say to that person, okay, you know, I, I, that's a perfectly reasonable and intelligent choice. Okay? I think your doctor would probably agree. I think most people would agree, right? That's the idea. In fact, that was the entirety. I, and let's be clear. That is the entire reason why they were banned in sports. It had nothing to do with cheating early on. That was not the topic. Let's, let's be clear here. When these things were banned in, in tested sports, it was for the sole purpose of protecting the health of the athletes. Because they're always going to be seeking it. Obviously, you're doing everything you can do to have an advantage in sports. But the idea was, well, they shouldn't have to sacrifice their health to be competitive. That was, that was the entire line of thought. That was why laws were passed in some of this stuff. This is why uh, the Olympics did it. Okay? It was entirely to protect the health of the athletes. The whole idea of cheating only came into play later after they were already banned in sports. So we need to be clear here. They were not against the rules in anything at a certain time. Therefore, it wasn't cheating. It was never about cheating. They were made against the rules, not because of cheating, but to protect the health of the people. 
So again, we need to be very, very clear here in that. That is not even subject to debate. That is part of the public record. That was part of the entire public discourse. This is understood by anyone who's read history or who's old enough to remember this stuff. So then when you have the people who are doing this stuff to their body intentionally just getting really fat. And I don't mean bodybuilder fat, guys. I mean, there are people who think I'm fat. Right? I'm not talking about bodybuilder fat. I'm talking about fat by any conventional standards. Fat by medical standards. For the pursuit of strength. Because they want bigger lifts. And then bragging about being natural. But you're destroying your health. I mean, let, let's, let's think about that for a moment. People are literally in the pursuit of strength willing to destroy their health purely to avoid using testosterone? All right. They're willing to make themselves physically disgusting for the purpose of having bigger lifts and avoiding testosterone while doing it. They don't want to use any testosterone. That's insane. Right? That is mental illness. That is mental illness. A person who, who is willing to completely destroy their health and to do those things to their body purely for the purpose of avoiding testosterone? Because that was the whole idea that too much of these things can hurt health. And let's be honest, when I'm seeing the body fat some of these guys are at, when I'm seeing the body fat some of these guys are at, they would be healthier had they just stayed leaner and used a reasonable amount of testosterone. Just objectively and medically speaking, they would probably be better off just in terms of their health and blood work. And they wouldn't look gross on top of it. And it's, it's, it's ludicrous. Like, I don't even understand this. And I'm seeing there's quite a few of them. I mean, I've seen some who've made video. People have sent me links. Oh, this person's calling you out. And I'm like, what? And they're just fat. A couple of them I've had to block in my own comments. At least one. The guy has a big old belly. He can't squat or deadlift anything. Because he outbenched me by whatever, five or ten pounds. And he brags about being natural. But the guy has got 50 or 60 pounds of body fat on me. Wow. Wow. Come on, guys. You guys are losing the plot here. All right, guys. But well, that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative. And I'll talk to you guys next time.